Want to talk about what's haunting you, or should we wait for a third act flashback? Uh, go f yourself. Did you guys ever notice how songs and movies have hidden meanings? Well, the Deadpool and Wolverine trailer dropped, and it provided a treasured trove of Easter eggs and cameos. And there's one cameo that's got everyone dazzling with anticipation. See what I did there? But can this cameo save the MCU? Join me, dear viewer, as I dive back into the dumpster fire that is Disney's Marvel. As we all know, Disney's Marvel is in a sorry state. 2023 saw some of the biggest flops, not only in the franchise, but in cinema history. The Marvels was just the icing on the cake. And let's not forget 2024's Madam Web. It seems that Disney and Marvel have been trying to chase this phantom audience that doesn't exist. Let's face facts. Chicks, by and large, don't like comic book movies. There's exceptions, but like sports, they tolerate them because guys like it. I remember when I took an old girlfriend to see Avengers Age of Ultron. She was squirming in her seat as she impatiently waited for the movie to end. Marvel simply won't give up courting a female audience that couldn't care any less for the derivative drivel they put out, and it seems like they found their secret weapon. Brace yourselves, kids. The lone beacon of hope from the Marvel Cinematic Universe in 2024 is none other than Deadpool and Wolverine. Because, you know, who needs a diverse lineup of superhero films when you could just recycle the same old characters over and over again? Fans have been positively losing their minds over this cinematic masterpiece, mainly because it's the only thing they've got to look forward to. And what's got them all worked up? Oh, just the tantalizing rumors about the star-studded cast. Because clearly, we haven't seen enough of Taylor Swift's acting chops, right? Even Deadpool 3's director Sean Levy got a taste of the relentless interrogation. But did he spill the beans? Nah, he played it coy like a true pro. Because why give a straight answer when you can let the rumor mill churn out even more ludicrous speculations? Ah, the joys of Hollywood hype. Now, fans believe that the singer herself might have given the final confirmation that she would be appearing as the Marvel character Dazzler in the upcoming Deadpool 3 -quel. As some of you may know, Taylor Swift dropped her newest album recently, and her fans have been busy parsing through every single song for clues about Travis Kelsey. But they found something even better. As noted by the website The Direct, fans have taken a line from the song Clara Bow, the final track on Swift's latest album, The Tortured Poets Department, in which she sings, The future's bright and dazzling, as proof positive that the pop star will be appearing as Dazzler in the upcoming MCU project. Oh, joy of joys! Not only are we blessed with Taylor Swift gracing the screen, but it also conveniently crushes the dreams of those poor souls who dared to think outside the box and suggest she might not be playing Dazzler in Deadpool 3. How utterly surprising! But of course, it's just another day in the life of Taylor Swift, the master of dropping breadcrumbs for her devoted fans. Because, you know, what better way to spend your time than decoding cryptic messages hidden in pop songs? Clearly, that's the pinnacle of intellectual stimulation. Well, isn't this just the cherry on top of the speculation Sunday? We can all sit around twiddling our thumbs, pondering whether Taylor Swift will grace us with her presence in Deadpool and Wolverine. And if so, what groundbreaking role she might undertake. Because, you know, life's too short to focus on actual tangible information. Oh, but fear not. This tantalizing hint is just the tip of the iceberg in the realm of potential spoilers. Because why stop at one juicy cameo when you can dangle a whole bunch of them like carrots in front of a starving horse? Because let's face facts, Marvel fans have been starving since Endgame. And let's not forget the immense pressure on everyone involved to deliver performances worthy of... Well, whatever standards the MCU set for itself these days. Because obviously, being part of a superhero blockbuster is a walk in the park, especially when you're not even an actor by trade. But hey, Swift's got that box office magic, right? I mean, who needs acting skills when you can just ride the coattails of your concert success straight to Hollywood glory? Truthfully, I'm really not shocked that Disney would tap Taylor Swift to revive their dying franchise. They've been chasing female audiences for the better part of seven years. They've tried inserting infallible Mary Sues 
into pretty much all their movies and failed miserably. Gee, who knew that people hate movies with characters that have no arc? It's no secret that Taylor Swift is a worldwide phenomenon. Everyone's gone absolutely apeshit over her era's tour. So why not tap into that fame and fortune to revive a dying empire? This is just further proof that Disney is like a virus, feeding off one franchise after another. It's like a turkey vulture. They've destroyed Star Wars, they've destroyed Pixar, and they've destroyed Marvel. Maybe they can destroy Taylor Swift's career. But hey, if conspiracy theories are to be believed, and Taylor Swift really is a CIA asset, then Disney would be going up against the biggest baddie of them all. But what do you guys think about all this? Do you think that Taylor Swift can revive the MCU? And is Dazzler that famous of a character? Or will Taylor Swift make her famous? Please do let me know down below in the comments. And as always, hit that like button, ring that notification bell, and smash that subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next one.